So today it's our job to get a team of heroes powerful enough to destroy everybody. The developer gave me early access to play The Last Flame before its release, but you can also try The Last Flame as a prologue just launched today, and it's free. So make sure you go check it out with the link in the description. And these first two look like good candidates for that, so we'll pick you and you. Ooh, and this gargoyle souvenir looks good to get right away because it stacks some more floor speed advance. So we're entering the Illusio Forest. That sounds like fun. And first we fight a giant spider. How fun. We'll just let the spider pick a fight with the bigger guy here, Zephus. And then they'll just go and duke it out and he summons some friends with him as well that can do range damage. And that was a very quick fight indeed. Let's get some rewards. like some some money, another hero to our cause, like a gigantic Whoa. bug person. That looks like a good time. And then we get an item as well. Some critical strike chance, I like it. Oh, and another one. How about some attack damage? You can take the attack damage and you can get the crit chance. So now there's two enemies on the field. Let's just surround them, how about? They're not gonna be able to do anything. Plus our critical strike guy will be able to be left alone for good time. And now we get another hero. Oh, this guy's a dog. What he dog also do? does summons. I like a dog. Oh, now we get a recipe for an item. And this one gives attack speed and healing. I like it. So we can take one of the items we already got and pair it up with the recipe. So we'll put the great axe in there forge it and now it has better effects to it okay now these enemies are all crowded in one corner that's gonna be very bad for them i also just noticed that our entire team is melee units so let's just charge them in oh wow this first bat is just getting decimated right now and the summon is doing pretty good on his own too and we can round out our team with another hero a steam powered hero looks very fun and this one gets shields. Ooh, a novice great axe for even more damage. I like it. And some more critical strike chance. We can give that to you so you're getting even better things right now. And then who did I give crit chance to? You. So you get that now. Now we'll proceed to an event right here. Looks fun. Ooh, a chest. What's inside? Chance to find treasure or chance to something? How about chance to something? Oh, hundreds of sharp teeth. Wonderful, it's a mimic. That is nasty looking too. Okay, before we go into this, let's use some of these trophy points and level up our heroes manually because that'll do good and they get some extra perks. So this one lets our hero benefit from summons, which we already have a few of. And this one also benefits the summons. I like it. Now the placement's gonna be random because the mimic does that. So let's just get the fight started and hope it all pans out. This is a tough looking mimic. Our guy is getting... Pretty well decimated over here. Oh, he moved. All right, that works for me. Just focusing on a different target does not handle very well for him. And he is done. Very nice, good rewards and an item. Ooh, another recipe, ethereal amplification. I'm not too sure what that means, but it sounds cool. Hmm, comparing the heroes here, it looks like Zephyrus actually benefits from crits more. So we'll give him the critical items. Ah, so you're the ethereal one. I see. Well then let's just put the ethereal damage on the great axe here. And now we have an elite enemy here. Oh, okay. We have three elite enemies here. Okay, let's just have two guys focus down here, two up here, and then hopefully you don't die. Or we should just take them all out one at a time. Let's just have everybody focus on this guy down here because he's about to have a very bad day. Oh yes, very quickly, but our poor crustacean friend is cornered. Oh, but the first one's down and oh no, we lost him. That's okay, we'll get him back. Thankfully, they spend too much effort focusing on him, so they all die. And we win. We didn't get a whole lot of money from that, though, but we do get a relic to pick from. And we can get a shield to one of our heroes. Okay, a new relic. Oh, look, more summons. Nice. This guy is huge. What's going on with you? Big Uzi guy. Little Someone's Uzi, a slime. A Rob I see. Zombie post. Four stars, too. Okay, then. Let's just surround you. And let's see, who has the most health? It looks like Zephyrus does. So we'll focus on you. And then let's try to get some of these other guys leveled up. Very nice. Ooh, ethereal amplification. Even more so. We should make sure to use the shielding dagger before we forget about it. So let's give it some critical chance. And then give it back to Zephyrus. And then we should be able to level you up with three clicks like that. Very nice. Ooh, extra attack damage. Or healing the lowest HP. Yeah, I like that better. Hopefully he goes down quickly. Oh, it actually looks like he's going down pretty quickly. We're taking down one chunk like every attack swing. And there's the first slime, but he really doesn't do much. And the big guy's taken out already. That was super fast. Give me that other item. Oh, a straight up pistol. 
I like that. And uh, shield for more defense or a helmet for defense and attack damage. Defense and attack damage. We'll just pass these around because they seem cool. Now this path leads to a star enemy, which I haven't seen before. So I'm curious about that. And this guy just has a straight up graveyard on his back. Not sure what that does for you, but go off, I guess. And he also has the most health. So let's just go ahead and put everybody around these two so we can take them out first. The less numbers they have, the better. Our wolf just has to run all the way around. And we're already fighting this guy. Our team is looking really good right now. I don't think there's anything that can stop him. Give me that other item. Oh, Let's hey, go. a healing Too cloak. Easy, I think Give I know who can go with that. It's this guy with the magic potion. So we'll just put it on the helmet there. A helmet with a cloak attached to it. It's a little strange. We don't worry about it. And now the star enemy. Let's see what you... Whoa, okay. That's a lot of dudes. And you're the only one that isn't level two. So we'll get you there. Ooh, lifesteal or ethereal effusion. Effusion, infusion. I like the sound of that. So let's just divvy up their focus here and then just power through them because we're good at that. I don't know where you were running off to, but it's not working that well, even though these shaman in the back are healing you. And as we take them out, they... I thought they were turning into slimes, but no, they're just dying right away. I like that. Ooh, heavy armor. Oh, I like that. And now we get a reward. We could recruit another hero, but we already have a full team here. Hmm. Let's see if we can re-roll a better passive on one of our heroes, like the magic potion guy, because our heroes really aren't being damaged all that much. So we can get some critical strikes. Rapidly attack an additional time. I like that. And then we have one more elite enemy before the boss. So let's just give this guy a bad time. And then this guy can be stalled by those two. If we just take out one enemy, then we can take them out a whole lot better, even though he freezes everybody. <laughs> he jumped over to the three enemies. Why would you do that? Okay, then. Ooh, a shielding tablet. I know who can benefit from that. And now another relic. Ooh, a shock orb. Apply shocks to all enemies every four seconds. Yes, please. Okay, I'm thinking we can put the shield on the heavy armor because our good steam friend here can benefit from that. And extra max HP can go to you. Now we have the boss here, which is a giant Hydra dragon thing. It's straight up a Hydra. Oh, it always targets the lowest HP hero. Well, that's fun. And also it has poison breath. Okay, it's also stuck in the corner. Oh, I didn't see these ads here before either. Well, supposing we take out the ads first, just so we can have them out of the picture. That was quick. And now we can focus on the Hydra with everything we have. And our poor crustacean friend is not doing good for himself right now. He's being healed, but he's also dying at a much faster rate. So it looks like he's gonna go down, but the Hydra's down right away too. We win. So we get some more flame energy and some money. We can recruit another hero. Maybe it's time we replace the Krabby Boy because he's kind of going down first every time. This one here is ranged, which would be good for us. And he utilizes shocks on enemies. That one works really good with the relic I just got. Ooh, lifesteal. I like it. So we can shelf the item off of our bug crab person here. And this one gives us more money when everybody survives, which they're pretty good at. After we head into the Patrafi Desert, get some more goodies on the way. And now, okay, some of these tiles are different looking. There's also a lot more enemies on the screen. Okay, first things first, we need to take this off of you because you're going back on the shelf. Now you're ranged, so we need to keep you away from everybody and we'll level you up right away. And then you can get a summon shield to go with everybody and then it was you that had the ethereal damage going for you right yeah we can also get some of these guys up to level three which is very good so you can get some better defense you can get better attack speed and you can get better crit chance these giant mushroom people seem to have the most health so we'll have most of our guys focus on you although we probably need somebody to occupy these two but then again they'll rush down here so i think we'll be okay we just need everybody to do their part okay vortex is going through damaging pretty much only the summons oh no or one guy went down we're also losing some summons but we're also winning this overall but now the enemies are enraged so they get better stats because this has been going on a little too long, but we still win. Oh, a giant battle axe for better crit chance. I like the sound of that, especially if we put it with the novice staff and then the pistol can go with lifesteal. And lifesteal applies to ethereal damage, so that's extra perfect for our steam friend here. All right, we're getting a couple elite enemies up this path, so let's just keep going this way, I think, because we need to make sure our guys are stronger to keep up with everybody. And we have most of the enemies on the right side now, so we'll put our heroes over there to match it. But we also need to keep our spellcaster friends safe, so how about we just surround him in the middle and then our friends can kind of do what they do best which is clobber everybody 
Oh, that's a lot of spells flying out there. That did some major damage to our summons. But thankfully, it looks like the rest of our heroes are fine, except for Zephyrus. But Zephyrus is also healing. So he's keeping ahead of the curve there. And nobody went down. Awesome. Our golden cube is working great for us. Ooh, more spell power. It's about time our Zephyr friend got something. So we can give that to you. And the bow, yeah, we'll give that to you as well. Now we have a shop here. What do you got for us? We have a lot of money to go through, so we can probably get something good. Like splash ethereal damage. Ethereal infused extra attack speed plus ethereal infusion. We should also get some items to go with these. Really just having our pick of the bunch. And we can straight up buy a musket as well. I like the sound of that. That? Oh, and the smoldering armor. I just like the things that deal ethereal goodness. So let's go ahead and put the ethereal attack speed on the musket and the ethereal splash damage on the great axe and then defense on the helmet. Now we just surround the big guy as we do, making sure our ranged friend is not the focus. And then he is getting taken down very quickly. That was a beautiful fight. So let's see how we do against another elite enemy, which is a big guy. Look at him. All right, we'll have our big hammer bro here be the focus because he has the most health and then everybody just wail on him what does he even do death ball oh he gains extra movement speed when somebody dies well thankfully that's not gonna happen because he's done already and we get another relic we can a banana <laughs> it's for lifesteal that's actually really good so let's do it so let's just keep going and Okay, I thought it was just gonna be one of the enemy. This is actually a lot of people. So we need two high health people over here and then some high health people taking focus over here. And then hopefully the spellcaster here picks someone good. He also needs a few items. The only thing I'm worried about is these big slime boys because they have their own summons that they pull up. And all right, our one satyr friend here is already down. That's not good. Also, our hammer bro is not looking the best for health either, but... The enemies are looking even worse for health. They really get melted when everybody focuses on them. I like it. Ooh, a chance to inflict bleed. And another relic. Where are you? S-I-F-D. There's also some items here with tombstones next to them. That just makes it seem exciting. So let's get the coral treasure because all I see is good things. It's a sacrificial relic. So in order to take it, we need to trade in something. I don't like that. Let's take this guy because he can duplicate another one of our relics. He's also so cute looking. Look at that face. I mean, we can get even more summons with this one, which is good for everybody all around. Ooh, a survivor's contest. The longer you survive, the better the rewards. Yes, please. Oh, okay. This is a lot of people. Starting to feel a little underpowered here. Let's level up the spellcaster, okay? Extra spell power to you. Not too sure the best strategy for this, but we just need to survive. Okay, we get an item at 24 seconds. Hopefully it works out. But man, those people deal a lot of damage. Thankfully, we are taking out some enemies though. That increases our chances of survival. Do we get a prize if we beat everybody? So far, so good. We are only down to two heroes now and a lot of summons, but... We have taken down everybody. Does that mean we get the ultimate prize? That was 34 seconds. Oh, good recipes here. Every third crit is dealt to all enemies. I like the sound of that. And this guy also deals with crit attacks. So let's put this on something that'll be good for you, like attack damage probably. And then we also have these other things. So let's give the runic shield to our spellcaster because the probably is for the best and then a chance to inflict bleed is gonna be very good for us we're almost to the next boss and i'd say we're oh this one's nasty his whole back is showing well whatever the case i think we know how this goes we just have to hope that people can survive because he deals damage split between a couple heroes but he really can't decide who to attack so he's just gonna die and everybody lives oh another chance to inflict bleed oh i bet that means it's guaranteed and now we get a relic. Summons gaining attack speed. I like the sound of that. And now here we are at the boss who has a crystal here. And it looks like we need to destroy the crystal before the boss can be destroyed. That's going to be tough. Let's put the mace on. Who has the other hammer? You do. Okay, here. We'll put the bleed effect on you and then change some things around so you get 100% bleed and then you get other goodies. It might be better for us if we just focus the crystal and all the enemies surrounding it. And is there anyone we can level up right away? Because all these guys are level 5. We can get 
this guy leveled up. Ooh, critical strike damage per bleed. Or restorative strike. Definitely gonna need that one right now. All right, hopefully this pans out. But, oh man, our guy is taking some massive damage right there. But the crystal is almost destroyed. And come on, get the crystal. Oh, we already lost a hero. That's not good. But the crystal's down too. Nice. That means the boss won't heal. So we just need everybody else to live. But we're also losing our spellcaster there. Okay, now the rest of these heroes can join the fight. These two might be the strongest ones on the team right now. All that's left is the boss and three enemies that have almost... Not three enemies, three heroes, friends, that have almost full health. But he is getting a lot more attack speed because this fight has been going on for too long. But we win! We did it! Yes! Oh, and it's a good thing too because... We almost lost all of our flame power. Thankfully, we get it all back. We can get another hero recruited. And you look like a fun guy. We'll go with you. Ooh, this one benefits from summons. And then we get a relic. And now we have some hextile buffs. So let's get in some attack speed. And now we have the tiny key and we have the ether dungeon here. Oh, and that's the ultimate boss there, oh, I no. bet. So if we start heroes on these hexes, then we get attack speed bonuses. That looks like it'll be good for us. I sure hope it is because these enemies are a lot tougher than we are. They're at level six. Thankfully though, all of our heroes are surviving. Even our hammer bro here, who was very close to death just now. And we'll go this way so we can avoid the campfire. Oh, this is a lot of enemies right there. Let's see if we can level up some peeps. Like you for, ooh, lifesteal. And then you should be able to as well for extra defense on proximity. And I think I can get you level up as well. Yes. Oh, an instant attack. I like that. And then we'll put the rest of the points towards you, even though you're not even close to being leveled up yet. All right, let's divvy up some fights here and keep our spellcaster safe. And hopefully we survive this. Okay, that's one enemy taken out and another one is well on the way. Excellent. For being two levels under the enemies, our heroes are doing really well for themselves. It doesn't look like anyone's died yet. They haven't, yes. We're getting so many recipes too. I don't even know how to use them all. But we can go to the shop and maybe we can spend a moment to dismantle some things that we're not using. Or just so that we can bring in some better recipes along with better items like a better musket. And I think we can get a better deal out of the demon fists. Plus we have the great axe available to us as well because this one also affects burning. Not too sure what enemies have burning, but hey, we're going with it. And there's another shop right away. That's not gonna help me. So we can give you that power. And these enemies make it very easy by being in a simple pyramid formation that lets us keep our spellcaster safe. So let's just charge through them like we do. But man, those enemies can take out our summons so quick. Thankfully, we take out all of them super quick as well. Oh, Oh no, our guy went down. Zephyrus, no. That's okay, we win. Not too much is lost. And we can also level up our ranged unit. Ooh, for more blue drakes? Or for extra burn and frost at random. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, a star enemy should be good things for us. Oh, except they're nasty looking and there's a beholder sort of thing. An abomination sends a beam to the furthest hero. Well, that's just rude. So let's put the hero with the most health at the furthest distance. That way he's not at risk and he immediately moves. So now the ranged unit is the furthest away, but thankfully our hammer bro blocked it. They're working together so well. Ooh, our Zephyrus almost went down again, but it looks like he's gonna make it. Ooh. Oh no, he didn't make it. At least we're winning. Maybe we should reroll the passive on him so he survives better. Like this attack speed. Oh, for more blue drakes. Yes. I'd like to be some blue drakes. And then we'll go here to avoid the campfire. Okay. Big dudes. Big stone dudes. Reincarnation? Oh, gross. So we need to take out all these guys at the same time, pretty much. And we also need two friends up here for the attack speed. And no one's really in good range to level up. So let's see. We should be divvied up well enough to take out two of them at the same time. But the third one, I think, is going to be tricky. They also are really tanking the hits. Okay, here's one that's about to go down. So now he's down and we need to get rid of all the others really fast. Oh, here's a second one about to go down. And then... Third one right there. Yes, we did it. Oh, I don't like those reincarnation enemies, but we went through it pretty good. Oh, blazing trident for critical strike chance. Yes, please. Oh, and a burning orb for extra burns. And here, let's put that trident on our musket. Now, who is it that benefited from burning? You did. All right, we'll switch some things around. So you... A few moments later. And these are huge enemies right there in the middle. What even are you? It's a lich. Ugh, not a fan of that. But we will protect our spellcaster and divvy up the enemies in such a way 
say that they should go down quickly, as we do. Oh, that demonic laser from the Lich did not look like it would feel good. But that's two enemies already down. Did we lose a hero? I'm not sure we did. But the Lich is down and we did it. Oh, we did lose somebody. That's okay. Choosing another reward. Rerolling more passives, I think. We can swap passives. So let's move the defense over to our high health hero. We'll just pass up on a shop here really quickly because there's really nothing we can do there. And here we are, the boss, the Slaying Queen. Okay, and it looks like she gets adds. This is gonna be fun. All right, I can give 45 XP to somebody. So let's give it to our bread and butter here using all of it. Oh boy, for extra defense. Okay, and then you're at the front. Or we just start everybody back because that's where the things are, but that's also where the summons are coming from. This is gonna be a bit dodgy, but hopefully everything works out. Here we go. Okay, yep, the summons are there right away. Yikes, our range unit is in trouble. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of summons right there. Oh dear, hopefully everybody survives. I'm not liking the look of this. We're dealing some good damage to the boss though. We just need, how are there so many summons? Oh my goodness. Surprisingly, none of my heroes have died either. We're just keeping all of the summons at bay while our three heroes in front work on the boss. And we're doing really well for ourselves actually. This is working out super well. Come on, just a few more hits to the boss. Whittle her down, take out the queen, destroy the queen. Yes, we did it. Vic. <laughs> Wow, that was excellent. Victory, question mark? Oh, I wasn't sure we were gonna win that. But we did it and we unlocked a lot of good stuff too. This is very cool. That was a fun little adventure. And again, the prologue is available now. So make sure you check it out using the link in the description. And make sure you wishlist the full release, which will be on January 17th. Big thanks to the developer for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Vivian X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sex, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily, and The Miner Within.